Welcome back, guys, to Final Fantasy 16. Where last episode, arriving at the hideaway within the Deadlands, Shiva's dominant Jill was taken away for treatment as Clive had a talk with Sid. With Sid wanting us to join his cause and knowing Clive's true identity, our protagonist refused, only wanting to avenge his brother's death by finding the man who turned into Ifrit to kill him. With Sid possibly having information, he kept us around with a lead on a dominant of fire, telling us to prepare to join him on a mission that led to our exploration of the hideaway, upgrading our gear and completing a couple of side quests as we soon head out. You all done? Hmm. Leaving already, are ya? It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? This should be fun. Right. Fast travel is now available. Use the world map to instantly travel to previously unlocked locations. New locations are unlocked by progressing through the main story or discovering waymarks known as blue things obelisks that's the one the world map will open automatically upon leaving an area but can also be accessed at any time via the main menu all right now we make for the great wood there doesn't seem to be anything else going on except for like the new books i guess and checking out the orchestrion but i probably don't have anything to put in the orchestrion at this point i don't know what do you want I mean, I'm not going to have to be like to do that anytime soon, but I do have two meteorites, so I could just upgrade both of these. Yeah, that should do you. Why not, I guess. You can thank me later. And I do not have enough for a broadsword 1 or broadsword 2. Uh hmm, so if I were to buy a broadsword, I'd have a way right to go to a broadsword 1. Fair dues, actually. I guess that's the whole point if you want to get yourself decked up. Let's do that. Look what the curl dragged in. <laughs> the cat, eh? Sure thing. If you're going to buy some, it'd be quick about it. Yeah, boy, the it. It'd better all be here. I'm going to quit the it for now. Finished, are you? Oh, i got to talk to you a bit. Yes. What? Taking an interest, are you? Wondering why such a comely cultured lady would cast a lot with this rabble. <laughs> because she's got a special arrangement with the rabble rouser, that's why. I scratch his back and he scratches mine. Gives me old trading connections to bring in whatever him and his little band need and they pay what that's I ask. Sweeten the deal. He's given me a home here, far from the prying eyes of those who'd wish me ill. There's no shortage of them, believe you me. He'd quit while he's had if he had any sense, but he won't because he doesn't. Look what the cat dragged him. <laughs> And now I could just upgrade that to a... Don't know if this is like the efficient way to do it, of course, but... Uh... Hey, it works. If it works, it works. It still takes a uh, frozen tear, after all. Takes some weird eye as well, I guess. Well, less. Hmm. You can thank me later. Less when you think about it, yeah. And? So I won't be at the maximum power that I could obtain at this point, but... Uh... Not far off from having a little bit extra. In terms of skills, though, this AoE one versus... I guess it's got a lot of will damage to it. This one versus Heat Wave. Heat Wave seems use useful for the whole deflection side. So I might actually switch that one in. And I'm going to be like, I need AoE damage more. Look, I'm trying to pet you, but all I can do is jump in a weird fashion. There's a good girl. Hungry, are you? What happened to Roland? Last I saw, he might be crispy fried just like my chocobo. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Only a small amount of oops. <laughs> Let's go to the Great Wood. Can't be any uh, worse enemy than a Morble, right? 
So deep and vast is the Great Wood, it serves as a defensive barrier between the Crystal Belt and the Holy Empire, while its denizens deter foolhardy travelers from exploring the forest's everlasting night. We're going in some more gloom by the look of things. Gloom is the nature of the game. Darkness. That looks pretty lit up for everlasting night. Also, my goodness, I need some vitamin B. Bastard blood flies everywhere. I told you we should have taken the crystal road. And I told you that we're outlaws. And you want every bounty hunter in Storm harrying us from here to the holy capital. Besides, what's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? Get off. The Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. That a place like this still exists is a miracle in itself. Blood flies and all. We'll be back in Imperial land soon. You all right? Never better. Sounds like it. <laughs> that there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. It's good to have you back, Torkel. Now, we don't want to be caught in the forest after nightfall. I suppose not. Fanning embers, I guess his everlasting night was overblown. Hero's best friend, Torgal has joined the party and will fight alongside Clive. Use the left directional button to toggle between item shortcuts and pet commands. The following three commands are available. Sick, attack, heal, cast, cure on Clive. Well, that's cool. Ravage, launch an enemy into the air. It's quite funny how I'm like, heal, great. Timely assistance. The accessory known as the Ring of Timely Assistance removes the need for giving Torgal commands. When this item is equipped, Torgal will attack and heal automatically based on the current battle situation. That's a... Mm. That sounds actually quite good. <laughs> just to not have to manage, micromanage another character and just let them do their assistance when they need to. Did I mention there'd be deadly beasts? There'll be deadly beasts. Nothing a trained assassin can't handle, though. How reassuring. You're welcome for that and the shortcut. See, I've changed up my gear a little bit. Hey, Lizard! Pick it up! Where are we going through all this foliage? Maybe they're friendly like Morgans. Oh, maybe they're not. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that, that works. They're all up. Ow. Okay. Get him. Get that one. Good ravaging. A little help. What kind of how big of a cure can you give me? My wounds, boy. A little help. Oh, so you only cure my wounds, you don't give me extra HP. Okay. Don't let them get away. Keep your distance, How much can you ravage this guy? My goodness. Because we can always do a down attack on these afterwards. So your Ravish just puts them in, in like an instant knockout state, more or less. We still have a way to go. High damage. Very fast. So the heal only heals up the damage that we've taken. Not gives us extra. The restorative bar, like in a fighting game. Name is he doing this far south? Looking for food. No more walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of Storm to fall to the Blight. 
Oh, sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. <sighs> Let's try and stay out of its path. Fair news. Would a cat do that much damage as a uh, poor girl here? Well, I don't know. Uh, Coral uh, has like shock attacks and petrification so potentially faster deadlier if it was a cat in terms of a final fantasy world term so remember when i said that the deadly beast well the shrubs of these parts are much better and you only think to mention this now <laughs> I get that one. Don't know where the next dog is. Well, that's the underground sorted. I'll take it from here. Ooh, if I look up its bits, it's glowing green. <laughs> yes, cats do tend to be more deadly than dogs. <laughs> Apart from Cerberus in Final Fantasy games. Petrifies a nasty status effect after all. Let's hope never to see it. After you. Thank you kindly. The ruins. They're everywhere, aren't they? Some say there was a time they blocked out the stars. Down was the only way left for them to go. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. But it can wait. Come on. Curious. Mind your head. <laughs> Don't mind me, Sid. I was just going to walk straight forward. Some people leaving their sharp fangs everywhere. What's that about? Oh, Avis is back. I can see that. Doesn't happen to be a friend of yours, does it? Shit, dodge sideways. It's about to get shared. Did I use it right? <laughs> Give them all you've got, boy. Keep your distance, boy. Use the wrong button. There we go. Ooh, funny. A dragon talon as well as a material upon inspection of a lesser dragon's foot. One may observe that the middle talon is considerably longer than the rest. This extended appendage is used to puncture the fleshy parts of the creature's prey, causing severe blood loss and weakening them for the kill. We've also got some sharp fangs that we've been finding. We're 15 of them. We just plucked out every single tooth nearly. If there is one thing for which the fauna of Valisia do not want it is for, but it is more dagger sharp fangs to line their slavering moors, and so those Valisvians, or oh, fortunate enough not to succumb to said fangs, have conceived ingenious ways of fashioning them into myriad articles of virtu, ranging from cutlery to bijouterie. Well, 
Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. Will do. But maybe I can get some more information about the uh, surrounding area, right? A vast forest in the southwestern part of San Bricu. Wildlife thrives here, but the delicately balanced ecosystem has been thrown into disarray in recent years by the encroachment of the blight and the beasts driven before it. So dangerous has it become that travelers very rarely venture here anymore. We can actually get stuff about Thorgel Thu and the Fallen, an ancient yet highly advanced civilization whose relics can be found across the length and breadth of Alisea. <laughs> Bit Zeta Blade, me. The material from which these relics are constructed is far sturdier than steel and cannot be worked by modern methods, so the people of the modern day have elected to build inside and around them instead. Thorgal, Glyde's faithful friend, the two were separated on the night of the tragedy at Phoenix Gate, yet reunited 13 years later in the depths of the Nisa Defile. In the intervening years, Torgal not only grew into a fine hound, but met with Sid, who trained him to work as a hunting dog. After meeting with Clive again, Torgal gladly returns to the service of his former master. Good memory. Lack of loyalty to the people he's met after. I guess, I don't know. Right, Clive's has been updated. An Imperial bearer turned deserter after refusing to slay the dominant of Shiva, choosing instead to turn his blade on his own sergeant. As a force of crusaders closed around him, his freedom seemed as if it would be short-lived until the timely intervention of Sid, a man who shared Clive's desire to see the dominant freed from their clutches. Together they escaped to Sid's secret hideaway. It is mostly backtrack information. Hey, well, Avis. Again. Oh, that's way more athletic than I do it, but I'm pretty sure Clive would be well, doing everything. We won't be going this way. More athletic than me. I'll admit I hadn't counted on that. Well, secret paths. Well, there, it, boy? there's your tail. Let's go this way. Animal instinct. Why trust in your own animal instinct when you now have an actual animal at your side? If you were lost, hold on Elfrey and let Torgel point you in the right direction. Yeah, it did seem weird that I had animal instinct. At least one of us knows these woods. Thank you, Torgel. Oh. I tried to pet you, but it wouldn't let me. There we go. Good Torgel. <laughs> I met a neighbor's dog recently who looked absolutely blissed out while I stripped under his chin. <laughs> I was actually surprised by how blissed out that dog looked. Well, they look fancy, Rafi. And for once, it's not my fault. Oh, I thought that would finish it. Don't let them get away. That'll finish that one, right? No? Ah, you gooed me. Get that one. Stay down. This is stupid. I like wolves. I don't think they care, Sid. Ah, oh, you goof throwers. At least you can hear them kind of firing. It's over. Oh, I got hit as I tried to dash in. Don't let them get away. That's enough. That was my job. Doesn't mean I have to like it. No. No, it doesn't. Are they free to command Toggle to show you the way? I mean, I don't know. We don't want to force Torgal to keep showing us. I'm guessing it's this way, though. On the basis of it being an actual open path. Sam touching a dog in real life. This is, truly is a miracle. What? <laughs> it's 
This chat seems to feel that I, <laughs> I'm sure the views are larger on the YouTube as well. Seem to think that because I actively like cats more, <laughs> that I'm somehow mean and cruel to dogs that I see. <laughs> It depends. Is the dog well trained and well behaved? Then of course I'm like, yeah, here you go, have some scratches. Is the dog endlessly barking and going absolutely crazy? No, stay away, please. <laughs> oh, girl, I need your help. I wouldn't even necessarily say well trained, it's just basically trained. Actually at all trained? How would you word it? Ah, there it is. <laughs> you usually show your like of cats by disparaging dogs. It's because it's a, it's a reputation system, right? I'm always trying to gain plus rep with the cats. Wait a second, Torgo, where are we going? Oh, this way. I really should have asked you sooner. <laughs> uh oh, is that a high potion? Well, it's two bloody hides, actually. Well, this looks like a lovely place. I'm sure nothing bad will happen when I drop down here. <laughs> Is that a basilisk? This shouldn't take too long. It's fast so near. For your shortcut. Well, still short, just not quite as quick. It'll be a damn sight quicker if you help me. My thoughts exactly. Okay, you're gonna send me back a fair bit there, are you, buddy? Yeah, I can't really count them with that one. Hey, you're hitting me a lot. Please stop that. What did you... He bounced the ball. Not this time. That's the one I don't like. It's big, wide, sweet. He's Roly Boy. <laughs> what if I could target parts of it? Keep your distance, boy. Give them all you've got, boy. Sick of Toggle. A little help. Bit more damage then, wasn't it? Aye, aye. Someone's got the up. Not this time. Wee! Stops. No one knows. I should have. Well, that's just rude. That is. We kill him first. I'm backed into a corner. But I can get the timing for that one quite nicely. This time. My wounds, boy. Let me regenning. Oh, I got rolled. 
Oh, I guess I can't hit you with this in the meantime, then. A little help. Well, I tried to precision dodge that and failed. But I think I'm pretty much in it for the win now. I just need to hit a couple more times. And an uppercut will do it. Fafnir of the North. <laughs> that spin cycle. Gonna wreck me. Got some relights, some more of that. Nondescript lump of rough hoon stone. It's but a nuisance upon which the stub was stowed, but to the blacksmith it's much, much more. We got two gnarled scales, covered in countless scars. These scales tell us tale of supremacy and survival, albeit one now ended. The stealing Shiva stick. Dominant. I am. I. Well, not by choice, mind. Old bloody Rome of strapping young lads. And it was this sorry sack of bones, Rome, who saw fit to home. Sid. You say you want to help Dominant and bearers. But what's in it for you? What's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. Save for our knack, dominance and bearers are no different from anyone else. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war. <laughs> ah, you flatter me, lad. But my days as a firebrand are long behind me. No, I only wish to offer our kind of choice. A place where we can die on our own terms. Eh? Yes, I was like as well. So you're coughing blood, and now you're going to be uh, <laughs> smoking afterwards. Doesn't seem like a great follow-up plan. Hey, each their own, I guess. I don't think our journey here is done anyway. What exactly do you plan on doing when you find this dominant of the fire? What do you think? I'll show him the mercy he showed my brother. And cut out the tongue of any man who tries to talk me out of it. Alright. Forest dark enough as it is. <laughs> yeah, stop with the edginess. Uh-oh. <laughs> Guy needs to stop speaking like that. Or he might be a bit surprised. Bees! Yeah. Don't right. let them get away! That'll help. I think I'll shoot them down, thank you. No reason for me to stay anywhere near these things. Yeah. 
Squish it! I don't know how big their stingers are. I'm not staying anywhere near it. Ah! Are you pretending to be all plants and stuff? I mean, you are plants, but that's not the point. Oh, they're everywhere! Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> I seem to be creating myself some issues here. Well, that worked. Is it dead? Oh, it went invincible or something. Or it reset? Possibly that? Don't let them get away. And let it do its ability, thank you. That's it. I level up with a kick. Ugh. Right, materials, please. <laughs> All goodies here and there about. Bosses are where we're going to get the general large amount of our upgrade materials by look of things. We can upgrade you too? I guess that would make sense. Now that I think about it. Can I go abilities for someone else? No, no, no. Gear and icons, sure. I need more stuff here. Well, in the meantime, I guess I should go to abilities and see that I've got 412 points. Now, where can I plug them into? The Flames of Rebirth seem pretty nice. Do I just save up for that? Being able to summon a massive pillar of fire that burns all enemies caught within the flames while also partially restoring Clive's HP seems pretty good. I guess there's things I can definitely get before that point to upgrade me a little bit. The precision dodge. The magic burst. More powerful. Don't know if that will help me. That's actually fully mastered now. I'm assuming that's good. <laughs> See that river? We follow her upstream and we'll be in Lost Wing in no time. In no time. Right. I wasn't lost. <laughs> But thanks for actually waiting quite a bit before you actually try to tell me. That's rare. I take it that's the way up. The alternate way up, yeah. I have no clue if what I'm doing, if upgrading that magic burst was a good thing or not for me, you know what I mean? <laughs> I think I just delivered that wolf into lightning death. Wasn't my plan, but hey, if it works, it works, right? So that's there. Take a left. We get to there. We we're up there. There's some whoops. Oh, there's another Avis. Hey, you're not allowed to attack me. I'm trying to deal with this. You deserve what's happening because you try to attack me with a thing. I see that even if I'm not targeting you, I do return it to point. My wounds, boy. That's 
not you with the electric then. Counter skills are too good, aren't they? Counter skills are very nice. Being able to return to whatever point that the ranged ability came from is beautiful. Man, a meteorite. Just down that way. All of them. Grieger's my witness. Excellent. We move. I, 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 I don't understand. Have I not proven loyal? It is true my liege values loyalty above all else. <laughs> but were you not quick to betray your countrymen for the promise of coin? intelligences if we can capture her you weapons on the ground Imperials <sighs> let's get this over with then Okay. Sorry, I was a bit. I'm getting hit because I'm a bit confused that this still lightning over here just decided I'm gonna take that guy out now. I see the actual problem, Midnight Raven. Do you just make fancy poses for the hell of it? I'm not even sure if you're actually attacking me. <laughs> you're just doing flippy stuff to no effect. All style and no substance so far, mister. Oh, that's a cinematic clash. When the screen flashes orange like this during a pivotal moment in battle, repeatedly taps square to either press or fend off the attack. No, we will get cleave right through him. Cleave right through him. Oh, cleave right through this man. What? Behind you. Cinematic dodge. 
Uh oh. No, 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 stab it, no, stab it, stab your head, stab your head. In the dick. It's probably got copies, but still. That's not gonna hit me, it's all over there. That recharges fast, and it also does a lot of wheel damage, doesn't it? <laughs> You're doing some flippy stuff again, and missed again. Is it? Oh, he's getting a futon out so I can go to sleep. Oh, he actually hit me! No! I've shamed my family. The annoying thing about your disappearing is you only target the area that you were looking before. Right on, that's an electric. Oh no, cat on now! Ain't no assassinations going on here, mister. No, don't you be yep. Ah Not this time. Stabby I'm going through that head of yours, I'm afraid. Neck. Nice. <laughs> Even when the cinematic stuff kind of takes it out of your hands in terms of what you're doing, it's still like, yeah, I want cut of his head. Excellent. Badge of Might was obtained. Awarded to soldiers for unparalleled displays of courage on the field of battle, the feeling of accomplishment, pride as well, probably. It kindles in the recipient's heart, is fought to enhance future performance. Wow, pride and accomplishment does something. Increases attack by seven. They thought we were Imperials. Well, you do look the part. <laughs> Though you fight like a true shield of Rosaria, and one blessed by the Phoenix at that. <laughs> Speaking of which, I wonder. Does the other icon of fire give blessings, do you think? You don't believe me. And lo, the creator did make of the elements eight icons to serve as keepers of the one law. Not that I've ever set too much store by holy doctrine, but on that point, it's clear. Fire has always had just the one warden, as of all the rest. A new one can't be born until the previous dies. And even that can take years. The thing is, you don't strike me as a liar. Which leaves but one person who might be able to shed some light on the matter. And they're in Lost Swing. As are our Waluda friends, I would imagine. We should hurry before it gets dark. But what if someone discovers the bodies? Well, and they'll be sorely disappointed. <sighs> I completely taken out by the cutscene then.
If you notice, I started looking around because they had a really realistic fly noise. Which probably isn't that hard to do. Then also followed by directional sound. So it went from this ear part to this ear. And I was like, what? Where's the fly? <laughs> it was so close past my head. I was just like, what the hell's going on here? Wearing a headset does make you do some weird things at times. Stage replay in arcade mode. Stage replay in arcade mode are now available in the hideaways and at Stone. Enter the virtual battlescape for details on each of the new options. It's really caught me by surprise. I thought there's a fly in the room. <laughs> more than the point, I was wondering how loud is it if I could hear it through my headsets? <laughs> right, we're supposed to go back to the Aurabel Downs. Can we go back here to like rest and stuff? Yeah, because I can upgrade some stuff, right? Might be quests. If anything, things have got to be pretty loud for me to hear them through the headset too, you know what I mean? <laughs>